All right, so we're back, and we're here with one of the great, great actors, actresses. I'm going to say actor because we're going to stay there right there. We are with Alexis Sims. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You have such a mellow, relaxing vibe, but on that stage playing Gina, <laughs> you weren't too mellow. No. We have to go in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you do. She, like, goes off. Yeah. So you got to, like, bump it up a little bit. Yeah, and what I liked about the character is you were playing pretty much the youngin yeah. of the family, but you had to step up and be the adult, kind of like the middle woman to everybody and be like, no, nah, that's not happening. How powerful was this role to play, and how excited were you when Gina Keys approached you about this? Um, first of all, I just love Gina Keys. Yeah. That's my, my heart, um, and I've known her for some time, so working with her is always, like, her belief in me is mind-blowing to yeah. me. Um, to step into this role that's named after her and to tell this story, it's like, I just wanted to make sure that she felt like I was embodying that and doing it justice, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. this is such a powerful story and it is such a powerful role. Yeah. Um, and I think, honestly, it felt very relevant to now, the now, because like still, we call women crazy when like, they're not, but we're not listening to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, oh, she's crazy. It's like, mm, is she? <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, too dark? No, no, no. It's, it's, you know what? Forget it. Yeah, you all women are crazy. <laughs> I'm saying Listen, it. Swear up. Yeah, I'm going to say it. <laughs> We're going to meet that. No, I'm not going to meet it. But no, it was an amazing role. Um, we're all talking about it going to Broadway. Yes. How are you feeling about that? Oh, my gosh. That would be so dope. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here for it. Absolutely. I think it'll happen. First, you got Alicia Keys, Hell's Kitchen, right. popping in. Right, 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 I think right, this right. would be a great follow-up Absolutely. to that show. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's an important story, right? Of course it is. And it's relevant on so many levels. Yeah. So I feel like people of all ages and backgrounds can get a lot from it, and even people who aren't, like, you know, brown and black people, mm -hmm. it's like learning about the culture, because she really honored the culture in the piece, and all the humor that we use, and sadness, like the whole, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, I love it. And we were talking a lot about the other guests. There's two messages today, family values, money value, obviously. Right. And to be honest with you, the color purple just went off Broadway. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for the color green to come back on with Envy. Yes. And bring back Mississippi land and talk about yes. the value of money and the property and family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we don't talk about it. Yeah. Well, it's time to talk about it. Absolutely. Guys, check this lady out. This is Alexis <laughs> Sims. Thank you so much. The light voice with the loud voice on stage <laughs> in Mississippi land right here at the LaFrac Concert Hall in Queens College, New York City.